Hi, my name is Mike Ferrara. The product is Focus. It enables progressive users like myself to see better. We'll begin testing our new product with LensCrafters in April toward a rollout over the next 12 to 18 months. So I'm Rob Stevens, uh, CTO at Lens. I've been with the company nearly six years now and we're, we've been through the development of all of our products so far, the existing Instant Eyewear products and the latest one, the Focus. Great. And so can you run us through the new Focus little product? Sure. So the Focus is a prescription product intended for distribution through the optical trade. Um, it's prescribed so it's going through uh, a normal, normal optical shop. We encompass a distance prescription, uh, which is actually done in a, in a, in a conventional single vision lens. Um, but we incorporate into it uh, what we're calling variable power optics technology, uh, which is an element that sits behind the main lens, which allows you to adjust the ad power. So this is intended for people who are presbyopic, people who would otherwise wear bifocals or progressive lenses, varied focals. And these are like the, the millions or the hundreds of millions of people over 40 who... who uh, absolutely. So but just about everyone over 45 would need something like this at some point, whether they have distance vision problems or not. Right, right. Um, Intended for distance vision because we allow, we allow it to be prescribed for distance vision, so these are prescribed in exactly the normal way. Um, so you would go in and order a, a pair of, of, of focus, ad lens focus glasses in your prescription for distance? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, as distance, you would normally? Exactly as you would normally, no difference from normal. Glasses. And then what, what, what happens, what's the difference then? That then, then the pro you're presented essentially with a choice. When you choose to buy a progressive lens, um, then you have a lens which incorporates multiple powers in the same lens um, and where you have to acclimatize to a bit of distortion in the edges of the lens because you're trying to put those two powers in. Okay? Uh, and that's a, a normal uh, running in period that people experience. With our lenses, the difference is these are single vision. They only have one power at any one time, so the vision is completely clear and undistorted. Right. To change from distance to near with a progressive, you look up, to look down through the bottom of the lens to be able to see it near. For reading. With our lenses, you turn the dials and the whole lens becomes a, a higher power to be able to read with. So the whole lens, not just a part of it, not, not, not the not part and po bottom part of it, the whole lens. The whole lens is changing. So no peering about over and above and down and all Absolutely, that kind of stuff. Absolutely, no peering about. And this is exactly how your eye works. Your eye has a front surface which is doing most of the refraction, so as you can see at distance. But then there's an adjustable lens in the eye which is changing shape to be able to refocus it near. And that's exactly what these glasses are doing as well. So what's the magic that's doing the trick? How's it, how's it working? So inside there's a little fluid sac. What's, in, what's the fluid made of? The fluid is a, is a silicon oil. It's a, something like a hair oil or it's actually used, uh, varieties of it are used in, in medicine and eye surgery as well. Right. So it's a, it's a fairly inert... I mean, you can, you can put it on your skin, it's, yeah, yeah. There's, there's no harm. And it won't go off over time or age over time? No, very, very stable, uh, UV stable, uh, doesn't produce any gases or anything like that, very unreactive. Right, right. Um, there's a, a little sack of that sandwiched between a, a, a conventional lens and, and a stretched film. And as you uh, squeeze that little packet, which is exactly what we do with the mechanism here, as you squeeze it, the oil is forced forward and the, the film across the front stretches. And as that stretches, it becomes curved, and that creates a lens, which, which wow. adds the power. Like a, a soap bubble type. Like a soap bubble, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Okay. And so um, how tailored is the, the variable power optic technology to each person? Is it, is it, is it so the, the beauty about um, losing the ability to see it near or needing reading glasses is that most people experience it in the same way. The lens in your eye goes hard and ceases to be able to move far enough for you to be able to see it near. So as a function of age, people normally need the same glasses. What we're doing is, as you lose that function in your eye, we're adding that function with the glasses to the amount that you need to be able to see it near. Right. Okay? Um, and that's a prescribed amount. The doctor will prescribe that. What the doctor prescribes usually is the amount of ad power you need to see reading a book in the normal comfortable position. Right. However, if you then want to see a computer screen or you want to see to thread a needle up close, you need a different power. Right. That's a function of how far you're looking away. And these can deliver that in the same way as your eyes would. 
Right. So they'll do all of that. So you do all of that. Perfect for somebody who, who uses a computer all day and then may want to read at night and doesn't have to change glasses Absolutely. to another set. Or, or even the lower light level usually yeah. means your iris opens a bit wider. You need a bit more power to ah. see the same. So in dark restaurants, you can, Absolutely. Absolutely. You can just flick the switch and, and you're... Uh, and your... you get that little bit more, that, that boost to be able to see. Okay. People who use cameras will be aware of this depth of field. So yes, yes, yes. Yeah, you're, 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 you're changing the whole way you look at these sort of uh, middle-aged people with eye problems, really. Well, well yeah. People of, of all ages over 45, absolutely, yeah, yeah. yes. It, so it's an alternative. Right. For, for many people, uh, the progressive um, is very convenient. It's, um, these, these lenses are a little thicker and a little heavier right now right. Um, as an alternative. But there are people who we believe d would prefer this um, because of their lifestyle, because of their work, right. where they need to spend a lot of time at a desk or using a computer, which is increasingly common. Um, and people who simply can't tolerate the distortion um, that you find in a, in a modern progressive lens for walking down stairs, walking down elevators, people find it a, a problem. Right, I mean, you, you say right now, this implies, you know, this is obviously generation one, so yeah, you've got plans absolutely. and visions and, and absolutely hopes. Absolutely, we and do, absolutely we do. In fact, in many cases, and we're very open about this, we've made very pragmatic decisions about bringing the first one to market um, in a form that's very usable and testable, but with some of the hard things that you might put in a later generation um, to one side. Yeah, yeah. For, for, for pragmatic reasons, so that at, at the right cost and at the right uh, level of functionality, we can, we can deliver the products here. Amazing, amazing. Can you run it through the lens. Let's see if the camera can pick up yeah, the change sure. in, in optics. So in, in, in a through the lens mode, and this is a, this is a prototype, um, with the knob all the way up here. Oh, explain about the, are those are imperfections because this is a handmade this is a, This prototype. is a prototype yeah, yeah, sample. Yeah. We're, so we're just announcing the production sample now. You have okay. a little dial here. Right. which is there to adjust the ad power. So this is not this is not finding your distance vision. Your distance vision is already there. Right. So with no ad power, the dial is all the way up. And then you move down to a first oh, click. I think you have to turn it down a little. Um, okay. Perhaps move it. Oh, that's it. There I we got, go. I got some background now. Okay. Let's so now on. you've got some, some distance. If I move one click, you can see the ad power yes. changing. Yes. So to go to computer distance, to a second click. Yes. And then all the way up. Oh, that's up to maximum right now. So and that's, that's, that's two and a half diopters of Great for power. looking at uh, close, at, at, obviously. Yeah. Threading a needle, as you say. Absolutely, absolutely. Wow. And then as uh, swiftly back again. Right, right. So that's the, the way that we see interacting with these lenses right now. And, and we have some things to do to find out about how people want to interact with these lenses right. to adjust their power. So you can do that on each eye right now. Right. And using the detents, you can synchronize the behavior across both lenses. So you were talking about actually having one set for far and one set for, well, I don't know what right. they call it in LASIK, but it's some sort of... Uh, so far and near. Monovision is the, is the term. Right. But for many people, um, that's not familiar. So I'll explain. You need uh, one power for distance and a little bit more power, positive power, to be able to read. Um, for some people who don't want to wear glasses, what they'll usually do is use both eyes and have one eye corrected for distant vision and another eye corrected for near vision, so that at any one time things are in focus, but only with one eye, so you don't have much depth of perception. And the brain ad adjusts to that uh, and for, for some most, people. Yeah. For many people, um, you can adjust to that behavior, and it's very convenient, because you don't have to put glasses on and off or look through the bottom of the lens or adjust it. Right. Um, you can set that up in here, but of course then you can choose when you want to have one vision and when you want to have your normal vision. When you want to have normal vision. So. Um, this gives you the ability to go to that level of convenience when you want it. But then if you want to play sports or hit a tennis ball, you can have your depth perception back by going to, to pure distance. To vision. pure distance. So you can choose to adjust one eye or both eyes. Right. And the detents are there to help you synchronize both eyes. And as I understand it, the, one of the, the major breakthrough that, that you personally were involved with was changing from the round to the, the yes. square. The square. Uh, it came to you on a train or something? On an aeroplane. On an aeroplane. Flying, <laughs> flying from Japan, sleep deprived. These moments of inspiration come. <laughs> um, <clears throat> there is a challenge in, in going from uh, a circular lens to a non-round lens, and the difference is in the edge shape. When you take uh, a lens which is curved and you cut a shape out of it, like take, take a cookie cutter and cut out a shape out of a football, you end up with a, 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 a profiled edge. You can see it on a conventional pair of spectacles. I don't know if you can see that. But the edge shape is not flat. Right. Um, and as the power of the lens changes, that edge shape also changes. Right. So what we have developed is a semi-active system for controlling that edge shape so that as the power changes, the edge shape changes at the same time. 
So the, 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 the shape of that soap bubble we talked about is always a pure sphere and always generates the right power. Wow, so that's how you get the accuracy then? In, that's in the, the accuracy. Wow. Um, without doing that edge compensation, the optical quality that you get through a, a lens made this way would be horrible. I mean, it wouldn't work. So yeah, we believe we've cracked that for the first time. Wow, okay. That's amazing. I mean, and the question, these are um, optically correct, you know, they are pre meet um, all pre prescription absolutely. requirements. Absolutely, so we're there, we're there to meet standards, yes. um, the American standards first, because this will be launched in the US, but then we come to Europe, CE marked will comply with all of the frame and lens standards that a normal pair of glasses would, right. and sold in exactly the normal, normal way, and ultimately, hopefully distributed through conventional ophthalmic labs, no difference. Right, right, so it'd just be a straightforward order from your from your that's local right. opt opticians? Yes, order. that's right, that's right. Okay. Uh, uh, just another different type lens type in the category, but um, hopefully a very popular one. Yes, hopefully. So when's it going on uh, on sale? So we're hoping to start selling with Lenscrafters earlier in the new year. And that's in the US, yeah? Yes, so we have a testing phase starting them early in the new year, and then we'll roll out in the second half of the year, subject to agreement. Right, and, and manufactured here in Oxford? In manufactured here in Oxford, so designed in Oxford, made in Oxford. Yeah. All, uh, all UK and shipped ab shipped abroad, <laughs> all over the world. Oh, all over the world. All and when's when when are we going to get to see the, get to see them in the UK? Uh, well, that's that's to be determined. But um, depending upon who our partners are and how prepared they they are to release us, and depending on our manufacturing capacity, okay. hopefully as soon as next uh, the following year, hopefully as soon as yeah. 2015. Cool, cool, can't wait. Yeah. Yes, no, look forward to it as well. <laughs> Thanks okay. very much for your time, Rob. That's Great excellent. Pleasure. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Cheers.